Two Muslim communities are speaking out against the violence, and they're doing it in a unique way. 24 Hour News 8's Teresa Mackin was at a blood drive earlier this afternoon at a community center on the city's northwest side. Both the Shia and the Ahmadiyya Muslim communities came to this center all for this blood drive and all in the name of peace. It's a blood drive designed to remember victims of 9-11 across the nation. But it comes at an important time, a time these Muslim communities in the United States can discuss their beliefs. And given what's going on in Libya and the riots, uh, we thought we could counter that with the real message of Islam. Uh, which is peace. The blood drive is a national movement, but it just happened to come the same week these protests against an anti-Islamic movie spread around the world. Uh, and we totally disagree with that. They disapprove of the movie, but say violence or hacking a school website, like what happened to the Brownsburg school website this week, isn't the way to counter it. Majority of the Muslim community, they believe in peace, and they, they believe in compassion, and love uh, for their neighbors and community. Alfia Nakvi says she hopes all Americans realize the violent acts overseas aren't representative of all 73 Muslim sects. In fact, it's just a small group that's catching media attention around the world. They love such moments. You know, uh, the, the movie was made uh, and the extremists use such things to incite hatred. Now they hope the act of giving of themselves through this blood drive will be a show of solidarity throughout the United States. That the Muslim community stands with them and condemns the acts of terrorism. And they do hope to continue this blood drive again next year and the years after that. They say throughout nationwide, this blood drive does hope to help 33 thousand Americans reporting live from the city's northwest side tonight Teresa Mackin 24-hour news 8